السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My beloved children, I am so blessed because I have both my parents, they're alive and they're living together and I get a chance to see them every other day. Alhamdulillah, that's a very big blessing. There are so many others out there. Maybe some of you don't have any parents. Well, that's not a bad thing because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was born, his father had already passed away. And a few years later, about six years later, his mother passed away. So he grew up from childhood without both parents. Subhanallah. So it's not a bad thing. It does not mean that Allah doesn't like you. He loves you. The one he loved the most was Muhammad, peace be upon him. If Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't have his parents at a young age, then it's not a sign that Allah doesn't love you. It's a sign that Allah loves you, in fact. But we're so fortunate that we have our parents in most cases. They're there to guide us. They're there to help us. And they're there to be there for us and to show us the way and the path. Now, I know that in some cases you might not have both parents. You might be living with a stepmom or a stepdad. That's also your parent, technically. You can call them mom or dad. There's no problem. For as long as you know, this is my stepmom and my stepdad. That's okay. They're not bad people. It doesn't make them evil. I know many cases where one parent has passed away. So you're either living with a single parent, which is quite difficult. So you need to be even more kind when you're living with a single parent. Or sometimes they end up marrying. And when they marry, it's not wrong at all. The person they marry becomes a guardian of yours to a certain extent. You have to respect them. You have to be kind to them. You have to listen to a certain extent to what they have to say. And they will look after you to the best of their abilities. It doesn't mean that uh, the person is a bad person. No. Sometimes your folks might have gone through divorce. Uh-oh. Divorce is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's the best thing because maybe mom and dad didn't get along. Maybe they were fighting all the time. Maybe it wasn't healthy. So when they separated, it was good because I, as a child, I started living a life of peace. I don't hear fighting and screaming every day. So wasn't it a good thing? I might not see both of my parents together at the same time, but that's okay. At least I have one at any given time. Alhamdulillah. So thank Allah. And do you know what? If your mom and dad have divorced, it does not mean that any one of them is bad. They're not bad. It's simply they didn't get along. You belong to both of them. You need to be kind to both of them. You need to get along with both of them. You need to know that if one of them told you bad things about the other, tell them, Mom, please don't talk to me bad things about dad. He's my dad. Or you say, Dad, don't say nasty things about mom because she's my mom. That's how it should be. Tell them, please keep me as a child out of your mess. Subhanallah. It's normal. Sometimes they're human beings as well. They might uh, say things and do things. You've got to remind them if you know. You know the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, when his father was astray and he now knew at a certain point that what my father is doing is wrong, he told his father in a very nice way, Oh dad, what you're doing is not right. It's actually wrong. It's going to earn the anger of Allah. So that, that's how he dealt with it. He spoke very nicely to his father, but he corrected his father. So my beloved children, when you need to correct your parents, do it in a nice way, beautiful way. But remember to respect them and be kind to them. Always, always be kind to both parents. If they've been through a divorce, like I said, it doesn't make any one of them bad. Yes, if one of them did really nasty things to the other, you might want to just keep a small distance because they might end up doing it to you, possibly. So just be a little bit careful, but be nice, be kind to them and try and have a big heart. Don't hold a grudge. Don't hold things in your heart. Let it go. Talk about it sometimes to your parents or to your siblings, meaning your brothers or sisters. Subhanallah, it will help you. Now, remember one thing. If you are living with a person, you need to understand without you listening or obeying the rules of the house, listening to the people of who own the house and who are in charge, 
you're not going to succeed if you don't listen or follow the rules. You go to school, you follow the rules. You go to the, wherever else, you follow the rules. You go to the store, nowadays with COVID, you follow the rules. You wear a mask or social distancing, whatever else it's called, okay? And all the other rules that are coming up. But when it comes to your house, you follow the rules as well. You need to be disciplined. You need, you know, don't scream and shout uh, unless it's it's time to scream. You know, I'm playing outside and, hey, what's going on? That's That's not... What I mean when I say don't scream and shout, that's playing, I'm playing, we're playing games, you know. But we, we don't yell at each other, we don't swear at each other, we have rules to follow and we need to sleep at a certain time, give the phone back at a certain time. In fact, children shouldn't really be having phones of their own. Perhaps you can share the phone of your mum or your dad or your sibling, your whoever else it may be. But if you have a phone of your own, it's pretty dangerous sometimes. You know, some people on that phone, they might, they might have a program that's not fit for your age group. So that's not going to be a good thing because sometimes it can mess your mind up. Don't let that happen, inshallah. You can play and enjoy your games, enjoy your fun. And at the same time, you work hard for school with, with the madrasa, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran and whatever else you learn. And inshallah, we grow in a beautiful way, but we, we follow the rules at home. If mom says 10 o'clock, everything must be turned off, 10 o'clock, turn it off. If you're supposed to go bed at a certain time, go to bed at that time. You're supposed to get up at a certain time, get up at that time. And inshallah, in that way, you become a beautiful person. Really, you become loved by all those around you and you grow in a disciplined way. One day when you have a job or you have a big factory that belongs to you, you go there on time, you have people working there, they're all happy, everyone follows the rules and regulations. But if you don't follow rules from now, you, when you grow older, you're not going to follow any rules. There's going to be nothing that you're going to follow. And then will you succeed? The answer is you can't succeed that way. Look at the children who don't follow any rules. They wear any clothes they want. They don't even wear clothes and they go out. Allah protect us. That's not, that's not right. You're supposed to wear good clothes that your parents have told you to wear. If they say, don't wear this, don't wear it. It's okay. They're adults. They know. Even if your friends are wearing those type of clothes, when your parents say, don't wear this, don't wear it. It's okay. It's fine. Allah will bless you because you're listening to your parents and they won't tell you to do something nasty. Subhanallah, especially as a child, you're growing up, you need to know that your parents will tell you good things, you know. And this is what I wanted to communicate to you today. I wanted to tell this to you, to say, please, let's respect those we live with, no matter who they are. If you have both parents, you're very lucky. If you have one parent, you're still absolutely lucky. If you have a step parent, you're still very, very fortunate. And you know what? Even if you have guardians taking care of you, I'm sure they are lovely people. Follow the rules. Sometimes, for some reason, your parents might not be able to bring you up. Maybe you were given to foster care. No problem. I'm sure they're good people. They will love you. Just follow the rules, inshallah. Be a good child. Be a nice person. And if you've made a mistake, you can say, look, I'm sorry. Don't be, don't be too proud to say I'm sorry. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I made a mistake. There goes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. I've really enjoyed myself speaking to you and giving you a few good words of advice so that you can develop into a lovely, lovely adult one day. And inshallah, I pray that you can leave a comment at the bottom below here. Uh, if you are watching me on my YouTube channel, Mufti Mink Official, leave a little comment and I'll try to acknowledge it. Uh, until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.